con siete nominaciones al Oscar. Belfast llega hoy a los cines mexicanos. Yo platiqué con Kenneth Branagh, su creador, y con Judy Dench. Kenneth Branagh, Judy Dench, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movie you made, Belfast. Thank you. Uh, this is about your childhood, Kenneth. Mm -hmm. It is. It's about a time uh, when I was nine years old, when after a really beautiful period of our lives where we felt very secure and very loved in the idea that it takes a village to raise a child, our small neighborhood, these tiny streets in North Belfast, working class people, was upturned by uh, violence which changed a, a playground into a, into a battlefield. And uh, the feeling that it produced in me and the challenges that it presented to my family have never left me. And so after 50 years, I felt it was time to tell the story. Yes, and I think that's the uh, universal thing about Belfast, because it's about, like, of course, um, nowadays, the childhood, childhood of almost every kid in the world, because violence is present everywhere. And they are finding in families love, like the refuge to the what is happening outside. I, I think the uh, yes, the, the the challenge for young people and what, something that people have recognized in the film or identified in their own lives is this moment when innocence is lost, when the end of childhood is marked, and and, and a sort of adulthood has to be attempted and. To navigate it, you really need as much joy in your life as you can possibly find, as much humor, as much laughter and song and dance and, and all the connectivity that you can have if you're lucky enough to be in a family or in a community. So I think the, the longing for that is at the center of the film. Judy, you are awesome in every part you have played in your life. Always, always but you are the most amazing granny ever in this in this movie in Belfast. I enjoy being a granny very much. I am a gra grandmother um, of a person slightly older than little Jude, who is 24, but to me is still quite small. And I boss him about a lot and, you know, try and keep him in order. He's beyond me now, but we do have a very close relationship. And during lockdown, he was very kind and came down to where I live um, and uh, taught me a lot of things I didn't know about TikTok, which I certainly didn't know. <laughs> wow. He kept, he kept me very amused indeed during that time. And this man you have uh, by your side, uh, I think he really loved his grandpa and his granny. Don't you think so? I do think so. I do think so very much indeed. Well, also, this was a point in, in many people's lives when uh, grandparents were really sort of built-in childcare. We lived very close to them. My granny and my granddad got my lunch for me for, I don't know, five years of going to school. And you'd come home because my mum was working in a fish and chip shop around the corner. And I'd go home and every bloody day she'd give me that thrippany bit. And every day I'd say, you can't give me the money. My dad says, you can't give me the money because you can't afford it. And she couldn't afford it. She couldn't afford it, but every day she wouldn't be denied the opportunity to give her grandson a three, a three pence. Uh, but last but not least, uh, you guys, um, uh, this is also the story when we have to, to not follow in blindly our family system uh, and we are able to see, to say in the name of, of love, really, to, to say, you have to live, you have to cut this, this uh, system of beliefs. I think it's one of the hardest things to do in life, isn't it? Is to let go, is to say cheerio. And in one of the most beautiful moments in the film, I think Judy embodies the, the really heartbreaking um, idea of how someone particularly who loves those to whom she's speaking uh, lets them lets them go, you know, and, and, and uh, that, that's hard. That is very and hard. And encourage them, encourage them to go. Yes, 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 yeah, absolutely. We haven't talked about your grandmother, did you? How, how did no, you? because I never had a grandmother. No? No. They were all away when I was born. No. I just had a grandfather uh, who uh, was mad keen on swimming. And we were all 
we were all very, all we could, all we needed to do in our family was sing and swim. Sing and swim. That's I what think we did all the time. That's a good <laughs> rule for life. Sing and swim. That's what Judy Dench says. And if you do that, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations to both of you, Judy. Amazing. Kenneth, what a movie you made. Thank you very much. And I think you're perfectioning what Alfonso Cuarón uh, made with, with Roma. And it's amazing. New cinema genre. I, I'm sure it's going to be um, one of the most, most um, like looked movies in the cinemas and, and in the history of movies. Una bellísima película Belfast, por favor no se la pierda y que en efecto sigue con esta, esperemos, este esperemos nueva tradición en la pantalla grande que Alfonso Cuarón, nuestro Alfonso Cuarón inauguró con Roma.